Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, click the thumbs up button below, and enjoy the video. Addicted to the Outdoors begins now. This week, we're headed off to Mexico to do some mule deer hunting. Yes, and we are meeting our good friends, Troy and Kylie Matthews, and um, they are bringing their crew from South Africa, so we knew we were gonna have a good time. Hi, I'm Troy Matthews, owner and operator of Africa Sport Hunting Safaris. We hunted with John and Gina and their group last year, and that's how we kind of got hooked up with Ubaldo. I'd hunted with Ubaldo myself a couple years ago. We're hunting with Ubaldo Lopez Outfitting, and um, we've never hunted with him before, but Troy's hunted there the last couple of years, and he says there are some monsters running around this place. Blue, blue, blue. All right, let's keep an eye on me. Right here, blue. You know how I am at I'm um, telling you, blue, blue, blue. I need some guidance. <laughs> I got the beast. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> You're a big mule deer, big mule deer with the new Proton. I'm the only one to have oh one. I'm the only one that has that bow on the planet right now. My goal this week was to be the first one to kill something with the new Limb Saver Proton bow. Um, I snagged a prototype from the ATA show, so I'm the only guy that's got one. And um, my goal was to head to Mexico and try and get something on the dirt and be the first one to ever kill something with that bow. Yeah, I took the Proton down to the archery shop Sunday, yeah. sighted it in, took me like three shots to get it zero, yeah. uh, shot my first round of four or five and had the perfect Robin Hood on the first round. We are on our last layover before we get in Mexico. We finally landed in Mexico and everybody was there waiting on us. <laughs> First time when they told me they're gonna come, I'm very excited. My amigo Juan and my amiga Regina. <laughs> I have uh, three camps, one in, we call them North Camp, it's close to Santana, Sonora. And uh, I have another one here, uh, a one hour from Hermosillo, Kobachi Camp. And uh, the third one is uh, South Camp, that's where we stay now. Uh, we have uh, 11 Lincoln ranches here in the area. It's a big, big area with uh, 200,000 acres. It's a big, big territory, big mule deer land. Oh, I see a see a chef. I see somebody cooking. Oh man. Mmm, I smell food. Oh, uh, look at here. Oh man, I'm gonna tear it up. Well, if there's one thing that everybody knows, it's how much we like to eat, and especially when we go to different countries. We got to sample all the stuff that they have, and let me tell you, it was on when we got there. All cat, coyotes, lion, white deer, <laughs> coos deer, mule deer, whatever. Hey, amigo. Whatever. We have that you for everything. Up? Whatever. You heard him. He said whatever. It's on camera. Whatever. <laughs> Whack and okay. stack. Whack and stack. <laughs> I guess we're out of here.
Limb Saver presents Addicted to the Outdoors with John and Gina Brunson. This segment was brought to you by Forlo. Forlo, the only technical fishing and hunting apparel completely made in the USA. In case you're just tuning in, Mexico! We are meeting our good friends, Troy and Kylie Matthews. They are bringing their crew from South Africa. We're hunting with Ubaldo Lopez outfit. Now I'm ready to get on a big mule deer. <laughs> Mexico. Fix and jump on the I'm roof, like, rifle style. He was in a truck like, run, run by, you shoot. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ubaldo's been outfitting for a long time with a lot of success, but uh, they primarily use rifles. So our initial plan was to come and set up on some water holes. But unfortunately, we got a ton of rain a couple of days before we came in, and that is extremely rare for that time of year. So it, you know, it quickly became a spot and stalk situation, and I was determined to get something down with this proton. The downside was I was running around with guides that really couldn't understand me and I couldn't understand them, and they were used to shooting them out of the back of pickup trucks with rifles, so wasn't real sure how this old spot and stalk with a bow was gonna go. Well, not sure what we're doing, but we're heading out. He said something about deer running to me shooting, so <laughs> I guess we'll see. I've gotta show the rifle hunters what the bow is all about. They're mesmerized. It's our first morning in Mexico, and right now, because the sun is just coming up, we're doing a little glassing, trying to see if we can spot a mule deer. If we get on one, we're gonna get down and do the old little spot and stop. Well, we're not on the property 10 minutes and a big old muley crosses the road right in front of us. So I'm ready to bail off the truck and try and slip up on this thing with a bow. And you know, by that time my guides are telling me, no, no, pass, pass. And I'm going, what? What do you mean pass? Okay, fly for But they finally, you know, convinced me to pass on this deer and um, I reluctantly listened. Um, I was just hoping I wasn't gonna regret it. You look pretty good to me. Well, we have strategized, and the last time they were here, they saw two really nice bucks with those. So we're going to do about an hour or two of uh, stalking and see if we can't get on one of them. We want to uh, walk into this uh, area. Mm -hmm. There's a big patch of shoyas. You know what is shoyas? The cactus. Oh, cactus. A dangerous cactus in the uh, desert. Oh, great. <laughs> you need to be careful Very with that one. careful. <laughs> they like to eat this cactus. You know this? Looks fresh. Yeah. Well, anyway, they fight mm -hmm. and they're tired. Right. So maybe we can find it bedding down. Okay. Yeah. We've got a lot of sign where two bucks have apparently went at it. And we're actually following one of them that walked away or got pushed off from the area or whatever. And so we're hoping that he's just tired and bedding down somewhere. And maybe we'll get lucky. We did a lot of walking, but we just couldn't get on him. We're riding around and we see a bunch of white specks way off in the distance. My guide tells me that they're oryx, so apparently they had some free-ranging oryx running around the place and, um, and they can't stand them because they really, I guess, destroy the habitat for the mule deer and they want them out of there. So he asked me if I wanted to shoot one and I, I looked at him like, man, are you kidding me? Of course I do. He just asked if I wanted to shoot one. That's a silly question. Africa Sonora. Africa Sonora. <laughs> Well, as dry and noisy as it was trying to slip up on these animals, um, I decided to tell my guide to sit back and stay and let me slip up by myself. Um, well, at least that's what I thought I did. Kill that horse. Oh, 
the downside of not being able to communicate. Um, I literally spent a little over an hour slipping up on these Oryx. Man, it was hot, I was sweating. Finally got into a position where I was sitting 30 yards from these things and they were crossing. I mean, I literally had my trigger on the bow waiting for the next one to cross and then all of a sudden they blow out from behind me. I turn around and <laughs> my guy's just standing back there with his hands in his pocket watching the show. Y'all gotta stay back. They freaking went, they run back across. I was a little frustrated to say the least. I'm sure you could see it on my face, um, but it really wasn't the guide's fault. Um, we just absolutely couldn't communicate. I mean, we were literally kneeling down in the sand and drawing stick figures trying to communicate with each other. So he just didn't realize that I wanted him to stay, stay back and let me slip up by myself. So it was time to bust out the translator and try and, uh, try and make everybody understand what we needed to do. <laughs> yeah, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It translates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it lunchtime? Yes. My favorite part of the day, except for breakfast and dinner. <laughs> that looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, here they come. <laughs> They're walking up right now. Looking, you know, he's gonna be like, I know she didn't wait on me. This segment is brought to you by Boning. Boning, your archery equipment source. In case you were getting salsa for those burritos, this week we're headed off to Mexico to do some mule deer hunting. My guides are telling me, no, no, pass, pass. You look pretty good to me. We did a lot of walking, but we just couldn't get on them. We are ready to go, chasing big ones, only big ones. Go big or go home. <laughs> I'm ready and waiting for my ride. We are going on our hunt for this evening. Came and got some lunch and you can see it's raining, but that's not going to stop me because I'm going to kill a buck tonight. The new group. Our guide here who doesn't speak any English pretty much told me in uh, you know, sign language that I can shoot anything I want. So at least that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> well, we are riding in the truck, and all of a sudden, we see these two really nice mature bucks. They are going at it. The game plan was for me to uh, get off the truck and try and sneak up and get a shot with my bow. Well, by the time we actually got to them, they had already split up and left. So I decided to get the rifle and see if I could get a shot. Well, if we see something, well, I, was I know. The a little bit. I know. <laughs> I think if we would have just kept easing on up, they would have. They stopped when we stopped. Well, while we were struggling a little bit, old Chris was having a little better luck on the javelinas. Shoot. Troy, my partner from South Africa, has been uh, demoted to cameraman. Quite an experience to be on the end of the camera. Now I got more of appreciation for what you guys do. <laughs> well, it was dinner time, and Ubaldo sure knows how to put on a good show. What 
Everybody back away from my food! Well, after dinner, well, Corey and Justin decided to expand the show a little and uh, bring us into the big arm wrestling match. Well, it is day two in uh, Mexico. We're we're staying after him with a bow. Um, you know, I'm hoping it doesn't come down to the wire and uh, you know we might have to pick up a rifle, but we're gonna try to get one down with the bow. We got uh, Ubaldo riding with us today so we can have a little translation action and I think that'll help. So if we can find him and put a little strategy together, we should be able to get one down. We'll see. Muy bonita mañana. Estamos listos for the big ones. <laughs> Well, hunting with Ubaldo was a lot easier because we could actually communicate, but uh, on this setup, it didn't quite work out. We saw the deers again there. They come back to the same spot here. Shoot or no? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I think this yeah. one. because I had to shoot through brush and I didn't want to have to shoot through brush. <sighs> I'm chicken. It's not a big mule deer, but it's my first Mexican bobcat. <sighs> the arrow. Nice. Wow. Those are some. This segment is brought to you by Grizzly Blinds. Grizzly Blinds, adventure guaranteed. Showtime. This is one of the best spots here in this ranch. Well, after several days of spot and stalk on these muleys and just getting busted and it not working out, we finally spotted a monster and he was actually bedded down, which was a perfect scenario. Yeah, the whole little usual is right there. Go ahead, shoot him. Yeah, yeah. Down on the other side of that tree. Okay. Get ready, amigo. Get ready for action. Now go slowly. Spin now. 
Well, while I was putting a game plan together on how to slip up on this muley, uh, Gina was finally having some luck over on her end, too. We can't cause deer here during the rut because the, those little deer, they hide hard. Well, we had finally spotted a coos deer, and this week the spot and stock with a bow had been a little hard for me, so I decided to put the bow down and pick up my TC. I was trying to sneak up on him as close as I could, and all of a sudden, he popped out about 150 yards, so it was time to pull the trigger. Well, I had just got my first coos down in Mexico, and I was excited. <laughs> I'm very happy for you, you know, because it's a nice coos deer. We were here for a muley, but they told us if we saw a knife, and to take him, so. Took him. Good buck, good buck. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> so I guess this is their equivalent of the white tail. They're not very big deer, but this is a nice one. Well, we're in Sonora, Mexico, and I just got my first coos deer, and this is a trophy buck. I'll take them any day. Well, the trip so far was awesome. Gina had got our first coos down, and I was on my way to hopefully getting my first big muley down with the Proton. So make sure you check back next week to see if I get my deer, and you don't want to miss the big arm wrestling rematch with Corey and Justin. I felt like there's something watching. Yeah, the don't got you, brother. La 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 la